What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Welcome to the Stock Goat YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be covering the overall market. We will also be covering the SoFi stock and we're also going to cover a couple of companies that just reported earnings and the reason for their earnings sell-off because this is going to directly correlate to SoFi when they report earnings tomorrow. And also we have CPI inflation data coming out the very next day, Wednesday morning. So this is going to be a crazy, crazy week. And yes, guys, I am feeling massive pain in the SoFi stock. I have an account where I'm holding SoFi shares at around $17. I'm not going to sell a SoFi this low because, you know, all of the, you know, analyst price targets are right around, you know, $14, $15 right now. So if I, you know, can hold till potentially the end of the year or, you know, into 2023, I can break even on that account. And I also have another account where I'm averaging shares around 10 to 11 dollars so i'm down massively across the board but guys so if i beat you know back-to-back -back earnings and we're going to be covering you know what i'm uh, predicting for this next earnings tomorrow uh, coming up so there's going to be some great information be sure to smash the like button don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed we're going to be giving you some great information let's get into the video all right guys we can see the indexes did very very bad today s p 500 three percent i believe the s p 500 is close to a 17 percent correction potentially We've been hearing, you know, the biggest, you know, hedge fund managers come on wanting a 20% correction. So the SP 500 is very close to the 20. A Dow down about 2%. NASDAQ down 4.2%. This is absolutely insane. Russell down 4% as well. Pretty much the exact same. Even crude oil is crashing. Gold is not even safe. I mean, this is absolutely insane. Even Bitcoin is down over 10% today. So if I stock actually held up decently, if we look at, you know, all the stocks I'm watching, uh, for the 100 uh, growth stocks it was in like the you know middle tier so they held up pretty decent in the day believe it or not but just got absolutely smashed after hours down eight percent after hours i could not believe it guys and i believe it has to do with you know lending uh for upstart reporting and they you know missed their guidance this one hurts really bad because your stock's down 15 percent on a day it didn't even report earnings so that's how bad the market is but i'm going to show you you know what we need to be looking for for these earnings okay all right guys so we have palantir right here down about 21 percent uh on the day okay so they reported earnings you know in the morning so the reason why you know palantir is down they beat their you know uh current earnings for uh, q1 but their guidance came in a little bit weak guys just a little bit on revenue guys take a look at this we're going to look at you know the analysis that you know these analysts are predicting and you can see here for the second quarter you know they were estimating an average revenue of 483 million this was six analysts and you can see here palantir said it expects 470 million in revenue in the current quarter which is below analyst expectations of 483 so guys just a 13 million dollar miss on guidance that's going to get your stock selling off one fifth of the company. This is a bogus market we're in, guys. I believe the computer algorithms are looking for reasons to be able to dump stocks right away on just, you know, the earnings not being perfect, okay? I believe that's not a bad Q2 with the way the market environment's doing. So $13 million, you know, guidance reduction in revenue. That got Palantir down, you know, over 23%, including after hours. Now take a look at Upstart, down 8% on the day. Pretty much the exact same as SoFi, down 41%, 43% after hours, guys. This is very, very insane of a drop, guys, because it was not that bad. The guidance did come in soft, but I'm going to show you exactly what happened. 10 analysts covering the stock, average estimated revenue of about $334 million. You can see Upstart sees Q2 revenue at 295 to 305. So they're still holding up pretty solid, but just because they missed, you know, about $30 million in guidance. You know, pretty much the exact same thing that happened to Palantir. 15 million soft on the guidance, guys. This is getting these stocks to just absolutely tank 25 to 45 percent on revenue guidance misses okay so we're gonna get into sofi now because you know these are just some growth stocks and i'm showing you why they're falling so dramatically so number one what you need to realize is sofi you know had to adjust the full year 2022 guidance when uh joe biden you know cut the student loans out you know for the extension or whatever okay so if updated net revenue adjusted EBITDA guidance for full year 2022 is 1.47 billion 
and 100 million, respectively, a reduction of previous guidance of 1.57 billion and 180 million, respectively. Okay, SoFi maintains its original guidance of 280 to 285 a million adjusted net revenue and 0.5 million of adjusted EBITDA. So, guys, SoFi is going to beat their Q1 earnings, you know, just like, you know, Upstart, just like Lending Club, okay? They're going to beat. They didn't adjust, okay? They could have adjusted their Q1 earnings, you know, down if there was, you know, going to be a big hit for Q1, okay? They're going to beat their revenue guidance and most likely EPS will be right in line. It is guidance now that we need to worry about, okay? Don't really worry about the Q1 earnings, okay? Even if it's a close beat or a close miss, it's the guidance that is what is killing stocks right now, like Palantir and also, you know, Upstart, okay? The guidance for uh, SoFi, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it's pretty dang tough, guys. They need to really beat, you know, this Q1 earnings to get revenue as high as possible, to meet that Q2 guidance, and we're gonna go over it right now. We have about seven analysts for Q2, which is you know next quarter, three hundred and forty-two million dollars, guys. So this is a big jump coming from two eighty to two eighty-five for Q1. Okay, we need a big jump. Okay, even though we cut you know full year guidance, it looks like the analysts didn't really you know cut us some slack on the guidance. Maybe they were paid. To keep it high like this this is a pretty big jump with the type of environment that we're in right now but guys so if i reiterated that 1.47 billion uh full year guidance just you know a couple of weeks ago so i'm telling you to get to that 1.47 billion they need to be busting out some big quarters for q2 and q3 so i believe sofi has something up their sleeve to make sure that we're not in this predicament like an upstart or a palantir and a big reason why we may potentially beat that 342 million in revenue guidance we got the technicis deal closed okay you're seeing 70 million you may think oh this isn't nothing guys this is a business growing 25 percent year over year so actually you know they're expecting you know like 80 to 90 million dollars coming in for uh 2022 so we already knocked out the q1 q2 is gonna be very very solid for technicists so as long as sofi has a solid strong q1 quarter you can automatically just slap on you know this amount of uh, money i'm about to show you so my technicist estimated you know revenue for full year we got 15 million coming in for q1 20 million for q2 25 million for q3 and 30 million for q4 so guys Pretty much whatever they get, you know, even if the business pause, you know, for SoFi, just slap on $20 million, you know, for whatever their Q1 revenue comes in at. So let's say their Q1 revenue comes in at, you know, 300. We're going to be automatically at around 320 million. So saying, you know, no other portion of the business of SoFi grows from Q1 to Q2, we're looking at about 320 million. Yes, the SoFi stock is going to sell off but not every single portion of you know sofi's business is going to just stall out okay the mortgages may stall out and also you know student loans may stall out a little but guys galileo is growing very strong and personal loans are still growing very strong like you saw in lending clubs earnings so i'm telling you right now the x factor believe it or not is technicist that is the x factor so we're going to see we need to get that 342. Understand, Palantir said it expected 470 in revenue in the current quarter, which is below analyst expectations of 483. Boom. Stock down 25% on the day with after hours. Upstar Holdings sees Q2 2022 revenue 295 to 305 versus the consensus of 335. Boom. That's going to get your stock selling off 50% on the day. SoFi Q2 expectations. 342 million so once again i would not be concerned about the q1 earnings because you know they you know reiterated that they're gonna you know maintain their 280 to 285 million revenue it's the guidance we have to be looking out for once again the technicist uh deal is the x factor with the 20 million dollar boost and if you just scroll down to get the 1.47 billion uh you know these are the estimated you know revenue guidance you know we need to be hitting Q1, we need to be at 300 million. Q2, 340 million. Q3, 390, and Q4, 440. So, guys, it's going to be a tough quarter because of the, you know, the economy and you know how things are slowing down because mortgages uh, rates are accelerating, you know, crazy, crazy fast. That could really slow down SoFi's mortgage business, and then also the student loan 
you know, extension, you know, is going to be, you know, extending out, you know, additional months allowing SoFi not to gain more revenue. So that 340, once again, is what you got to look out for actually about 342 million. So I'm going to pretty much tag this in the title of my video, guys. Uh, I'm sorry that the SoFi stock is down this much. Understand they beat, you know, Q3 earnings. They beat Q4 earnings. Uh, they should not be, you know, this slow. The stock should have held up a little bit better. But, you know, this market is very tough. The shorts really don't like SoFi. There's some big money behind, you know, the shorting right now. It could be, you know, going on with the big banks, legacy banks, knowing that, you know, SoFi is trying to, you know, acquire those types of customers that are, you know, not, you know, being uh, served as well as they should be. So it's tough to see SoFi at these levels, guys. But, you know, remember my old videos, book value is five bucks. That's just assets alone. That's pricing and no growth at all. And you can see after hours, guys, it's just a very rigged market in my opinion. You can see after hours, just take a look at this. Upstart, Affirm, SoFi. And if you just skip Plug Power, you have Lending Club, okay? You can see these four stocks are just in a basket together, okay? Whatever one stock does, they all do the same thing. That's an algorithm, computer trading, you know, dumping shares left and right when one company's performance is lagging. As you can see, Upstart. Is down 44% in the after hours, bringing SoFi down 8%. Uh, they didn't even report earnings. So it's basically like SoFi just reported earnings and they didn't even report earnings. We're down 15% on the day. Uh, it's very tough to see SoFi, you know, at these levels. So as you can see, you know, SoFi is definitely being, you know, dumped in the after hours because of Upstart's performance. So this is very, very disappointing because I believe, you know, SoFi is going to be in a good position with that Technicist, you know, deal finally closed. Maybe they're going to be able to, you know, beat that guidance. I'm very interested to read their earnings. But, you know, if they do blow out, you know, their, uh, you know, guidance for Q2, this could be a bottom end for SoFi around the $5 range. And, yes, it's going to take, you know, potentially a year for us to see, you know, you know, $20 or higher price targets, you know, especially with the, you know, way the indexes are doing right now, you know, correcting 27% on the NASDAQ. And if you made it to the end of the video, I want to say I really do appreciate it. I enjoyed doing this video for you. I can tell you right now, you know, SoFi does have some, you know, high quality leadership. Okay. They beat their Q3 earnings. They've also beat their Q4 earnings. That is what student loans pushed out two and a half years. So this company is still battling very, very hard, you know, to maintain this growth, even with a portion of their business, you know, uh, in the crapper with student loans. But they're also making deals. Okay. We got the Technicist deal, uh, you know, closed. That's going to be an additional 80 to 90 million in revenue. They're making deals with MasterCard to grow their Galileo technology business. So this could be coming into Q2 guidance as well. Uh, they had the Columbia expansion happening right now. So maybe they are going to be, you know, maybe they are going to have a nice guidance uh, raise over 342 million revenue. That's a lot of revenue. Okay. But just know Palantir flop, Upstart flop. Lending Club actually beat, but they're getting, you know, brung down because of Upstart and the other growth stocks as well now, especially the overall market. So we just have to wait, read the earnings, but know that, you know, we're right around book value just on what the company has in assets. Once again, my name is Kyle. Hope you have a great day.